that is not you. It's not really the brown girls from Jersey City. You saved the world. That's a fantasy too. So, I think I know the answer to this one, but who's the bigger Marvel geek of you two? Don't even try. It's like a sonic boom, the way it happens. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare. Are you sure that we can keep that on? To no mind. It's a lawsuit. Great, then I'll make Captain Marvel in court. It won't be the first case in the American judiciary to hug it out. So who has the geekiest thing in their house? <gasps> Ooh. That's a good Ooh. question. Okay, okay, I got one. Um, Barry is our Marvel head of security, mm -hmm. and he was cameoed in Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. Are you in charge of security for this district? He played the security guard at the Blockbuster. Sort of. The, the movie theater has its own guy. And for Marvel's 10 year anniversary, they made like a more than a hero poster for all the Avengers, but they made one for him more than a security guard. And I have the poster and it's signed by him. Okay, that is a winner right there. Yeah. You've already won. It doesn't compare, it doesn't compare, but I have a whole bunch of Funko Pops I've been collecting for <laughs> years, for years, right? And you know, now it just feels weird if I go and get them. So my mom's been like buying them for me. <laughs> <laughs> my collection, yes. Um, I'll have 10 of my son, please. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 exactly. But um, just my, my array of Funkos, which are all kind of arranged as per very specific battle sequences. And, For and sure. So, yeah. You've got to get a shawarma set up. Anyway, moving <laughs> on. Are you excited about the pitch meetings, the honest trailers? Because there's like a whole... Dude, yes. Yes. I, I'm excited for all the breakdowns, the cinema sins, everything. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I was wondering, Considering we only see you in the trailer for like half a second or two seconds, and it's you with your top off. Yeah. Boys. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> You're kind of on my shirt. Sorry. Like, what can we talk about? I don't know. I mean, you, know I, you know how this goes, man. I don't know. Um, great swimming. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Strong swimmer. Um, not so much, actually. I think. I think that we can talk about. Kamala and Kamran and... I mean, I will give him credit for the shirtless scene because we shot that on the coolest night in the middle of Atlanta. It was All of us were well. freezing and he had to have his shirt off. It they like, like heated the pool for him. Yeah, it was minus one degrees outside Celsius. Not even, it was colder, it was so it was, cold. It was freezing. It didn't show. Thank Great. you, thank you. Acting. <laughs> God damn. Kamala, hey, already? Really? Come on, like... Do I have to figure out my whole future before lunch or is it really... So we get to go to the Avengers Con here, uh, which is absolutely amazing. I wonder whether you snuck anything home though off set that wasn't the poster. Okay, she when we started Avenger Con, my assistant and I went around the entire set taking photos of mm. everything I wanted to steal. So on the last day, <laughs> we shot this on the last day of principal photography in Atlanta. Last day, I was saying goodbye to people and she was putting things in bags. We shipped everything home before anyone could say anything. Gone. Yeah. That's her real superpower. Hell That's a whole, yeah. yeah, yeah. What are they gonna do? Secretly kind of it's holding. Mine. It's mine now. Yeah. I have a surprise for you. The Hulk! <laughs> wait, wait, best is yet to come. Ta-da! Oh, the puppy! Now there's loads to be proud of with this show. I mean, first Muslim superhero, it is a big deal. But what would you like to highlight about the show that you're also super proud of? Because there are loads of little bits here and there that are yeah. so special. I think the heart of the show is, you know, how we appreciate fan culture. Kamala. Kamala. Another adventure shirt. Cute. She thinks I'm some kind of weirdo. You are a weirdo. And it really elevates the story in a really unique way. And, and you know, Kamala. Kamala? Yes, she's this teenager, awkward. What does it feel like? Cosmic. Has these superpowers, but she's also a super fan of all the superheroes and in, in the super world and the MCU canon and and you know that fascination and excitement is so shared with the real life Marvel fans and I think you know it's going to be really special to be the nerd to represent other nerds. That's a great answer. Yeah, exactly. You're a Kamala Khan. You want to save the world, then you're going to save the world. To me, as a Brit, seeing cricket be part of the MCU. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's crazy. It's it's a big deal. That was huge. And baked beans. And baked beans. Yeah. In the MCU. Baked beans. Can't. Which, yeah, but they have to be Heinz though. I'm sure they're Heinz. <laughs> Disgusting. Just trying to get the hookup. So Kate is helping you with an Avengers level threat? So I really want Kamala to meet Kate Bishop. He's my partner. It's kind of a stretch. And I never normally just do this leading question, but please can we live in a world where that happens? It's one letter and you have to write it to someone who rhymes with Mevin Mikey. Oh, that guy? Yeah. Yeah, I know him so well, mm. so this will be easy for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just drop a quick text. Yeah. Kev. Speed down. <laughs> <laughs> 
get it done. Just get just it do done. It. Just do it. Please. Please, just do it. Holy sh what are the practicalities of shooting a superhero show like this? Because there must be moments where you feel so goofy. For example, when you're walking on nothing, or you're watching someone walk on nothing, yeah. it's like, yeah. when's the goofiest you felt shooting this? First of all, being the only person in a super suit, everyone stares at you. And then especially because your powers aren't real, mm -hmm. you're just like going like this, and you're in like these intense, deep emotions. We had to do a really tough scene together in episode six. And like, just uh, you, you have to use so much imagination and you look absolutely ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And it's like, everyone's dead silent in the sound stage, <laughs> yeah. watching you be absolutely ridiculous. And it'll look cool, maybe. Yeah, hopefully, when well, they do it. It will look cool, it will look cool. It will and look I think, cool. Yeah. It does look cool. I just felt very embarrassed. I'm a superhero. <laughs> I've got to say also, you've got loads of cutaways. It's very Scott Pilgrim, it's very John Hughes, yes. it's very, you know, all of that stuff. Lady Bird, the list goes all on the right and on. Words. But you've got these cutaways of you being hit on the head by a dodgeball, and then a science experiment blowing up, and then you're doodling for three hours. Did you have a day just doing Dude, that? Dude, we had so many scenes where I got hit in the head with basketball. They all got cut, no. except one. Why do you think she's the way she is? Oh, I see. Yeah, it makes it's sense the, Uh-huh, <clears throat> got it. Excuse me. <laughs> um, Ali, plum, I thought better yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I know it was no, but it was it was uh, it was a soft ball. But the prop guy who was throwing it at me had a lot of fun. <laughs> it was you, really, wasn't it? <laughs> it was it was actually me uh, just hiding in the back. Yeah. Can I do the next ten? Yeah, um, yeah, guys, I've got to go. But thank you so oh. much. Thank you. We're but, huge fans of you. Yeah. So like, this seriously. is really weird. <laughs> seriously, this <laughs> is like a full like circle moment, I think, for us. Um, Literally, we saw your name on the list and we're like, oh god, Ali yeah, Plum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've made my day. Yeah. I'm gonna go have a quiet word with myself because I cannot handle compliments. Amazing. Ugh, thank you. Thank right. you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast Screen Time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum.